Thank you for giving us a chance and opportunity to hear your word, Jehovah God. How we want to pray that your word is going to be a blessing in our lives, O oh God. Thank you for choosing me this day that I may deliver your voice. We worship you and we honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus, do we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Yeah, this is a great, it is a wonderful day that the Lord has given unto us that we may hear his message. I am delighted because of this far he has brought me. My name is Mario Nyabodi Nishege. Saved, and the Lord has been faithful. The Lord has walked with me, and my desire is to continue surrendering unto Him that He may continue making me the person He wants me to be. Praise be to God. Yeah, today we are going to hear our message with the theme Destiny Killers. Our theme today is Destiny Killers. If we may start by defining what is a destiny, destiny is the future that God has for each and every person. Praise be to God. And the greatest desire for God today is to see that each and every person has lived as far the plan of God. That is the great des de desire for God. To see that all of us, we live as per his plan. And it is good to know that God has a very good plan for each person. The plan that he has for each one of us is a great plan. And this is well supported by his own words that he said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 29, verse number 11. When God says that when I know the plans I have for you, they are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And if you look at the happenings today, or if you look at what is happening today, if we look around us, if we look at the kind of life that people are living today,
is a great enemy for our destiny. When you have fear on your life and you cannot be able to do the next thing because of the fear that maybe has come up because of what people have put on your life, you are not able to rise to the destiny that the Lord has destined for you. And our encouragement today, even when Goliath was able to rise like this, he was able to be killed by David. Hallelujah. And therefore, I want to encourage you today. Never mind about the Goliaths who come on your way. Secure your destiny today. Don't allow that fear to come on your life. Because when it comes, you will not be able to rise to the level that the Lord wants you to rise. Hallelujah. Enemy number three. I've given him a name by the name Potiphar's wife, Spirit. Another very dangerous spirit. When we read in the book of Genesis 39, verse number 7 to 9, when Joseph was given a chance to be in charge of Potiphar's house, he came across this woman, the Potiphar's wife, and this woman wanted to sleep with him, or she wanted to go to bed with Joseph. But he refused. And Joseph said, How can I do such a wicked thing and sin against my God? I want you to note this today. If Joseph gave a room to Potiphar's wife, if only he gave a chance to Potiphar's wife, he could not have saved his family. God's destiny in his life could be killed. He could not He could not be able to do the great things that he did even when he had allowed Potiphar's wife to dominate in his life. Some destiny killers come in that form of Potiphar's wife and their mission is to seduce, they are full of lust and they bring a spirit that leads to sexual immorality. And today, if we keep along to his spirit, it is going to destroy our destiny. This spirit hinders someone to rise to the position that God has destined. It is hinders one to fulfill the purpose of God. This is a very dangerous and a very aggressive spirit. A dangerous destiny killer. Hallelujah. And this
I want to encourage you today to know that the arm of God is upon you and you are going to rise despite the Philistine spirit. Hallelujah. You have your God who is a friend who is like no other friend. And even if you walk without a friend today, secure your destiny. Hallelujah. That is the reason why you find people moving. 
in the book of 1 Timothy chapter number 6 verse number 20 and Paul was telling Timothy that God what has been entrusted in your care